Black History. My brown daughters became black when they were six years old. They were watching television one day in February, Black History Month. A commercial came on. It was more like a 30 second history lesson, a commemoration of a pilot, a poet, or a politician. A first black, as a writer I know calls them. Them being the racial pioneers, the inaugural Negroes the foremost African Americans to break through racial barriers in our chosen fields. By breakthrough, I mean, of course, secure the regard of white people. See, we're black, Julia said to Isabella. No, we're brown, Isabella responded. Yeah, but they call it black, Julia explained. Despite my efforts to shield them, my daughters had somehow gotten wise to the absurd and illogical nature of American racial identity. Blackness, Julia had figured out, had nothing to do with skin color. Blackness, she had come to understand, was an external identity, external to her in a way. Race was something other people identified, something they said, but not necessarily saw. Blackness, she had intuited, was a social category, not a color, but a condition. And like it or not, it was time, she was informing her sister, to get with the proverbial program. In spite of me, but also because of me, my brown daughters were becoming black. My heart sank. It was not blackness per se that caused my heart to sink. I enjoyed being black. My parents, you know, understandably, they were, they were raising us as children, putting us on buses every day to go into environments they could only imagine were gonna be hostile. I mean, I don't know how they did it. You know, and it was so important. You know, if they hadn't been willing to put literally their children's bodies on the line, there would be no desegregation. You know, the world would not have moved along. It took that kind of commitment and I don't know how they did it. Um, I am not faced with that same kind of challenge today, but I think in some ways this book is about, and I'm realizing this as I'm talking to you again, about putting myself on the line in the same kind of way, trying to honor and meet their struggle and to say thank you for that. But the book is for that for that person. You know, I, when I met, wrote it, I imagined the kind of book that I, I could have used when I was a kid um, that have helped me not necessarily map my way along the journey, but could have been a friend to me as I was making my way along the journey. And that's what I hope people can do for, for any kind of reader. But my daughters were not born under the shadow of this history. They are black by ideology and affinity, but not by blood. When they were 12 months old, they assumed dual citizenship in both America and African America. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs>